Today's episode I have to cancel because I got canceled on. I don't have anybody to do a video. And we got a really good baited up line, but that's just the way it happens. So. Green River? Yeah. She was looking to go fishing as well. And she said as long as I didn't kill her, and I told her as long as she didn't kill me, that we could go do a video. Here we are on the Green River. Of course, she's heard of us. Yes. And she happens to know Jenna Citrus. It's true, it's a true thing. Okay, so this is a, probably no fish. This would be a good test run. So what you're gonna do is, this is just a limb line. Okay. Just reach out and kind of just pull up on it a little bit. And in this particular one, we're gonna pull all the way up so you can see what's on the bottom. Yep. No fish, no bait, something, we didn't catch anything. That's what it feels like. Now, if it feels heavier than that, there's probably something there's a fish, on it. Or it's yeah. hung up, or there's lots of things, but or that's what we're doing. Now, a trot line will be a little different, a little more likely to catch fish. So, uh, Fallon, where are you from? I was born in Evansville, and then I grew up for 11 New Years in New York. Like New up, York. Upstate New York. Evansville, um, Indiana. Yes. And New York uh, State or city? Uh, upstate New York, upstate. so near like the capital, near like Albany and stuff like that. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's gotcha. You have a you have an interesting voice for being in that area. Yeah, it's weird. My dad was born and raised in Henderson. Okay. Yeah, and then I was born here, and then I've been back here for like the last ten years. Ten years. Yeah. I gotcha. So you're you got a mixture of accents. You yeah. do kind of have southern. Some things have stuck, yeah. You sound uh, interesting, though. So. Sometimes I think I just have like a slight lisp, too. You're on Instagram. <laughs> I looked her up. I can't, I don't know if it's Scroopy Nooples. <laughs> Scroopy Noopers. <laughs> Scroopy Noopers. What does that mean? Um, it's just a character from Rick and Morty. It's like a Rick random. Rick and Morty. I just thought the name was really funny. I gotcha. Like, I, I gotcha. have to use this. I did, I did read her uh, profile line. It says, I'm a skinny, thick nymph. <laughs> with poor interpersonal skills. What's a nymph? It's like a, like a whistle, kind of like an elf, like a mythical creature a that mythical, like lives in the woods. I got you. So a nymph yeah. is a mythical creature, like a fairy or a, what's a nympho? <laughs> I think we know what that. I see it. So this river, it looks pretty good. It gets lower. There is a fish on this next line. See that limb moving? Yeah. If you look at it, well, as soon as I say it, it's not moving, but I'm almost certain. It was wiggling a Could little bit. Could be a gar down there hitting on it, but I doubt it. Yeah. Ever been fishing? I've been fishing. Um, I've been crabbing, too, a little bit, like in Maryland. Gotcha. But I haven't been fishing in a long time. Very few people have done this type of fishing. I've never done this type of fishing. No. Ever. The idea, you have a net here, but if he's real small, you can't throw him in. But we'll just see what happens on this first one. Okay. Now, if he feels really heavy, I'll probably come up there and help. Okay. So just kind of reach out. It is a little eerie because you're pulling up. You don't know what it is. Feels like there's definitely something he, on there. He may, okay, he's small. Just throw him in. Just throw it in the boat. Throw in it in the boat. boat? Okay. I thought Boom. you meant like throw him back out. No, Then just, the boat. Let, just let him die. All right, there is your first fish. If we don't catch fish in the video, I get a bucket of water over the head, so I'm safe. Every fish that enters the boat, $5 charity. And if it's 10 pounds or more, we play a game. Do you think that's 10 pounds? No. No. <laughs> no, he's a skinny little guy. Well, starting off with a flathead is pretty good. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, we got some bigger fish out there, though. We did bait with a lot of bluegill. Typical flathead uh, bait. Of course, everything will eat a bluegill. Yeah. Your job as the point girl on Hook, Line, and Chill is to get the fish in. This doesn't feel like there's anything on it. Nope. Nothing. All right, drop it out. Ooh. 
All right, next up is a trot line. It's a little different. More likely to have fish on it, but you've proven that you're not afraid of fish. She touched it. She threw it in the boat and everything. So, so this thing has line, hooks all the way across the river. I think there's 17 hooks. Oh. And we're just going to kind of slowly go across the river. And if okay. there's any fish, we're going to get it in the boat. You can use a net, throw it in. Just got depends it. on what you need or yes. you want. Okay. Now that we've got the first fish and I'm safe, you can do <laughs> what, what do you, you think want. would constitute needing a Say net? Say again. Say again. What do you think would constitute needing a net? A big fish. Like, okay, so just something big enough? Yeah. Okay. And you're, we're going to see that those roots over there? We're going to end up over there. Okay. You know, you're slowly going to go. There's going to be sinkers, uh, bricks holding it down, and hooks, and just be careful. Okay. So looking through your Instagram, are you a model of some sort? Or? I do a little bit. Um, I used to do it more when I was younger, and then I started just getting back into it like a, I guess a handful of months ago. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. I, it's fun. Mostly I've done it like, you know, people asking me. I hold feel on, hold something. On. Hold on. Is there something pulling? Yes. There's some bubbles right there. You see them? Oh, yeah. Oh, my That's, God. Oh my right, grab that net. Grab the net. Grab the net. The grab net? The net. Oh, the net. Net. But then how do I get it in the net? I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. Use one arm and then just hold him up. Don't pull him up like that. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know how. Oh, oh okay. Oh, my just God. Just sweep under him. Wow. I'm there really you go. sorry. You got it. I mean, normally I would have to help somebody with this. This is a huge fish. <laughs> I can't see it very good, but I bet it. It's right, really, really Try big. to grab that line. Don't let go of the line. The line? Okay. Yeah, there you go. And see if you can get him over. Yes. Monstrous oh flathead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. Alan catches a, I, I don't know how big, but she catches a big one her first run. How big do you, do you think that's over 10 pounds? Yes. All right, we play a game. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys, on hook, line, and chill, if the point girl, today it's Fallon, catches a fish they think is 10 pounds or more, they get to guess the weight. And if they guess the exact weight of the fish, they win $500. And if they're within five pounds underneath the weight, they win $50. But at any time, if you guess over, zero. You bust. So what's your guess, Fallon? I think I have to pick it back yeah, up for go a ahead. second. I was in panic mode. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I didn't realize it was so big. I, I didn't know if I'd have But that was actually, right. now I don't really like pulling the head up the way you did, yeah. but it was actually effective because you were able to get the net under him quickly. Okay. So. Um, this is great. It's pretty heavy. Um, I'm trying to think. I feel like it's like 20 pounds. Is that your guess? Let me hold it a little bit more. 22 pounds. You might be lifting yourself up there in the front there. There you go. <laughs> I, should, I don't know. All right, you're good. All right, go for it. Um, or what was your guess? Let's see. I'm going to guess 20. 20 pounds. Go for it. Stick it on here. So close. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you won fifty dollars though. It's fifty dollars. You're within five pounds under. My Twenty-one. 20 you know, pounds. I thought she was way <laughs> under, but <that's... laughs> I know exactly what she feels like, and I was like, this feels a little bit more, but she, I don't know. She was within one pound of five hundred dollars, but fifty dollars is not bad. For it's going still better fishing. than nothing. Better than nothing. It's pretty good, and that's thanks to the patrons. Uh, they pay for all our games. Appreciate that, guys. All right, let's see if we catch anything more. Keep on rolling. Oh, I see it. Oh, he ain't moving the line much. It's a little flatty. Now, there are different types of catfish, and usually we don't catch this many flatheads. <laughs> so use that. Well, you could throw him in, but he could come off too if you if you put too much weight on that hook. Should I lift it up forward? Like... Yeah, get it close and just flip it in. But you can also use a net. It's up to you. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Try not to stand up. Okay. I just didn't feel like I had the strength <laughs> sitting down Yeah. to That's, do that. I probably should not be going on my instincts since I have no, like... Yeah. Well, it's, it's just a trot line rule. Some people do it. I, it's a rule of mine. My dad's rule, don't stand up. Because if you were to fall with the, you know, get yeah. tangled. 
Very yeah. unlikely. I think it's just like a small person thing also. Like you just push your whole body no, into like. you did like... good. I don't, also, you don't have my confidence yet, so <laughs> I don't know you. But that looks like a good fish. How much do you, you think it's 10 pounds? So you caught a small flathead, a really big flathead, another decent flathead. That's better than a lot of people, trust me. <clears throat> Two more limb lines right in here. This limb line right here has done well, and it looks like there's another fish on it. Sweet. Guess we will see. <sighs> and it's up to you. I know it takes trial and error to figure out your style. Yeah. So I'm kind of back here rambling. But after a while, you just do it how you want. If he's real big, use a net. If not, just doesn't get it feel, close and throw him in. It doesn't feel very big at all. Throw it in. So, yeah. And when you throw it, just let it land in the floor. Okay. Blue cat is not 10 pounds. It's just a little guy. It's an eater, though. Yeah. So what are you into? Are you into any type of uh, music or hobbies or... Anything um, crazy? I like crafty things. Really, just anything I can get my hands on to. Crafty. Um, I like hiking. Hiking. Hiking, especially since I have a dog, so I'm just like. What kind of dog I, you got? I've got a little Shih Tzu Yorkie. Shih Tzu named Yorkie. Named Zero. She's What's gray. Her name? Her name's Zero. Zero. Yeah, she's all gray, and she looks like a little baby Ewok from Star Wars, like yes. just like the cute little baby one. I like that. I like to meet Zero one day. Oh, I have she's a dog fun. named Cletus, but he's a handful. I don't know that. She's a little yappy handful too. He don't bark a lot, but he's very playful. I can't, I thought I saw movement, but yeah, just give her a jerk, see if there's anything. You don't have to pull it all the way up. Oh no, there's just bait. I was like, oh, there's a little, <laughs> there's a tiny yeah, little that, fish on there. That's the bait we use. <laughs> that will catch anywhere from a one pounder to a 50 pounder. Maybe bigger, I don't know. So you got a dog, you go hiking, you're into crafts. Yes. You're from uh, Evansville, Indiana, but you have some life experiences in New York. Yeah. You ever go to New York City? I have. I went like a bunch of times with my family and on like school trips and stuff like that. Do you that. recommend it? I think it's just something you really have to be prepared for. <laughs> like you really have to like make sure you know where you're going and that you have like enough backup money, I you gotcha. know, just in case something I've goes wrong. Been. I thought about going a couple times. You, yeah, it's one of those things where you just want to explore like certain parts like in chunks like at a time. You don't want to like do everything. I got gotcha. you. I went yeah. to Washington DC uh, about a month ago, a month and a half, two months ago. That was the first time I ever been there. Of course oh. it was because I was going, supposed to go to London Ooh. and then passport issues. Oh yeah. And we had to cancel and we ended up going to Washington DC. We were gonna look at some old buildings one way or another. Yeah. Trout line sorry. right here across the river. <laughs> this one's done well as well, so we'll see what happens. And we're gonna go right across the river. Trying to get it. I've had my dog uh, for two and a half. He's, he was, uh, well, let's just say I rescued him from a breeder. <laughs> <laughs> I walked in there and I was like, I'm rescuing this dog. And they're like, not for, not unless you give us $800. And I was like, whatever it takes. My grandparents took me to go get my dog. And like, I'm pretty sure I didn't understand like what puppy mills were at yeah. all. And then like, you know, I had, we bought her and then I heard about them. And I was like, I think that's what that place was. <laughs> Cletus was not from a puppy mill, by the way. But a lot of people think that because it was the Amish. Now, if he's huge again, just. Oh, he's a little, just a little guy. Oh, okay. I'm trying to, I'm just gonna good. put yeah, it Don't get too close way. to that one, he's sharp. Okay. Boom. Okay. Yeah, try not to raise him up in the air though. Go ahead, okay. get the net in the water and scoop him in. And then, that's it. And then try to keep your hand on the, the line and the net and throw him in the boat. That's a perfect grab right there. Whoops, not a perfect cameraman. Sorry. Whew. Perfect. 
That's a nice little flathead. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. She's not gonna play. We're I gonna keep it I think I might just let food. this one go. This is Michael. Stick in a word. This is Michael. I'm with Fallon. Excellent fishing video today, guys. Hopefully Fallon can come back. It's fun. I'm glad we got to meet and uh, we'll see y'all next time. What'd you think? I had a lot of fun. I think right? I just enjoyed doing that. Yeah, it was, it was a good little excursion. It's thrilling. Little bit, right around an hour. Yeah. yeah. You don't want to keep the stick I caught? <laughs>